It's the night before the 2017 Sydney Sevens. The final pre-game tradition of presenting the team jerseys allows for some external motivation on the eve of the tournament. <laughs> Thanks, mate. So, Phil War, everybody, if you don't know him, but look at just a few career stats, 79 tests, only four tries. <laughs> no assists, I've got plenty more. <laughs> But uh, Wallaby captain, Waratahs, Australian Sevens, two caps in 1999, Johnny Hill's medal in 2003. And the reason I've chosen uh, Phil for it was, see the Waratahs sort of games there, but also the number of Wallaby caps, how many times he's played at the Sydney Football Stadium and how many times he has performed there. So he knows what it's like on that field, the ins and outs of it, okay, and, and what it's like to play for your country at home. While she asked me to come in and just have a chat, and I think, and, and you guys have performed on the big stage, obviously the Olympics um, was the pinnacle, and, and I think there was so much expectation around, you know, how are you going to go at the Olympics, your favourites, do you go through, and, uh, and obviously, you know, as, as uh, history played out, you, you went through and, uh, and won the gold medal, and the profile and, and, and how much you've raised uh, rugby in Australia, not just for men, but for, for females as well, and a pathway to be an inclusive sport for everyone's been amazing, so uh, it's quite an honour for me to come here and, and present to. I've played at this stadium so many times and, and I still, it's still one of my favourite grounds in the world and, uh, and for you girls to get the opportunity to play on there numerous times over two days in front of uh, full house capacity is an amazing opportunity. And everyone will say, I oh, enjoy the moment, and then you sort of get to the end of the day and you sort of reflect and you go, well, I actually probably just put so much pressure on myself and, and, I, and it's all a bit of a blur. And I'm not sure whether that's a bit like the Olympics for you, but I think as you get, I'm 37 now, I'm retired. As you get further and further along, retired from the game, and, and believe it or not, even though you think it's not gonna happen to you, it is gonna happen to you. You know, I remember 2003 Rugby World Cup and you get off the field, you're crying. You know, Johnny Wilkinson's kicked that goal. I've tried to let it go, but not quite. <laughs> um, and, but you, and, you think, and you think to yourself, that, you know, I'll, I'll get another crack at this. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to play in a World Cup final again, we'll win the World Cup. 2007, we go to Marseille, we lose in the quarter final. In the moment, you think, I'll get another crack. But the reality is, you might not get another crack. And uh, you know, when, I, when I look at big moments and the opportunities that you girls have, this is probably one of the biggest moments. So you've got to make sure when you're in the moment, embrace the moment, do as well as you possibly can and have no regrets. Now's a, a great time for, for all of you. Step up in Sydney, in Australia, um, in front of your home crowd, and I think you'll uh, you'll get the support that uh, everyone's already giving you. Harry, to take any questions? But thank you for having me. So number one, <laughs> Shannon Parry. Hey, Shannon Parry. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Number two, Shani Williams. Shani, great all the best. Number five, Georgina Fredericks. <laughs> As the team is announced and the jerseys presented, the culture that Tim Walsh has so carefully cultivated becomes evident in a very visual display of support, pride and respect. Each player understands their place in an environment free of hierarchy, but equally cognizant of their roles and responsibilities. Success is simply a sum of all working parts and Walsh wisely acknowledges the role that positive emotion can play in the psychological preparation. tribute video is often played in the moments following the jersey presentation. The players need no reminder of the importance of the tournament, and there is therapeutic purpose in using the big screen. It's a reminder of each player's contribution to the journey so far. Okay, three, two, one. As a player, I guess, the jersey presentation was always done by an ex-Wallaby, you know, for, for tradition. Um, you know, someone which 
you know, I would have looked up to my whole life and just very special. And then when it came to the women's game, um, there really weren't too many ex Wallaroos or Sevens players really running around at all, particularly in a, in a professional era. Many of the occasions, uh, it was the players presenting to the players because they fitted the, the tradition in terms of it needs to be an ex-player or a player, and they were, they were the ones, and the, and the ones that they were gonna go out to battle with, and they all had this different story on how, on how they got there. We have actually had a couple of jersey presentations where we have presented it to each other, and I don't think any of us take that lightly, the fact that we get to say a few words to one of our teammates and um, try and get them pumped up and understand what um, the importance is behind that jersey as well. It is an emotional moment. The, the first thing that comes to mind when I think about that is um, Nicole Beck standing up there who's had one child and she's got another baby on the way and she just talked about um, some of the injuries she'd been through and, and coming back from that first pregnancy and how much, um, not necessarily that she'd given up, but how much she'd been through to get to that point. Um, and so I think that was a massive moment for all of us to realise how much was behind it, not just for her, but for all of us. And I think as one of the pilot programs for Women's Rugby Sevens, I think it's a huge honour that we have in order to create that legacy. So to one day be able to come back and, and do that for the next generation. Over the last few years, we've done lots of different things. We've had lots of other people come in and present them, but probably one that sticks out to me was in Rio. Um, breaking all tradition, they allowed, it's usually people who have worn the jersey before is allowed to present it, but they broke tradition and they let our families, our parents present us the jerseys and that was probably the most special moment for me. Um, you know, seeing all the family stand up there and they know how hard we've worked and how much we want that and um, I think that's something very special for me was my mum presenting me that Rio Olympic jersey and that's something um, I will always remember and cherish. I absolutely love jersey presentation. It, I, don't, I think it's something that would never wear off, receiving the, the Australian jersey. Particularly for the very first time, it's, it's a huge moment. Sleep well? Yeah. Okay, so first game, Brazil. Okay, got the first half <laughs> and predicted second half. We've been through all this, so we should know it. What wins tournaments? Okay, is connection and defence. Okay, you have that purpose in that line. Okay, you're going to walk away with a, with a good performance. Okay, but let's set it up there with that. Okay, let's go and f***ing smash them. Okay, talk and smash them. Okay, and then composure with the ball. Step it out, step it out, step it out. Walk it in, walk it in. Footwork, footwork, footwork. Yeah, we've had a pretty pretty good morning. Had a jersey presentation last night, so everything everything's going to plan and uh, the girls are raring to go, so uh, yeah, looking forward to getting out there. In the moments before they enter the stadium, there is a final acknowledgement from the non-playing and injured members of the squad. Wishing the selected 12 the best of luck for the weekend. Be decisive and get the communication up, all right? Don't wait to start playing the fifth minute. We go for minute one, all right? Let's open up and set the platform. Go! Let's go, 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 go! Push back, push back! Bounce, 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 bounce! Decisive eye contact! Go girls! Grab a drink, come in! Go through those stretches, nice and quick. Just think, help your mates the whole time. In your threes, in your chat, in your tackles. Help your mates always, alright? The women's team have drawn Brazil, Ireland and Fiji in their pool games. Results in sevens rugby can be unpredictable, and no team is ever underestimated. Preparation is consistently high tempo, no matter who the opposition. Might be easier to put your GPS in before you put your jersey on, the new pockets. Catch, ball in your hand, number two, 
go, they won't stop you, okay? Heaps of communication in attack and defense, all right? Smile, go out there and have some fun with it, all right? Okay. You want to see some FTOs, you make tackles, get your feet driving through them, okay? Really loud chat in that communication, get people on the inside, okay? When you go inside, you can put big hits on them. AJ, hit it, hit it, hit it! Woo, woo, woo. Ellie, you gotta come through the gate. You gotta come through the gate. Go, Lion, go with it, G! Come this way, G, you're on, G! Craig, just get Ellie out. I love it that she's pumped up. Okay, she's going to give away a couple of penalties. Tell her to be really, like, you know, composed with her with her pressure. Yeah, good stuff, Barnes. Be composed, but be direct and like, um, just as you do. Put it down. Put it f***ing down. Ellie, look up, Ellie. Oh, yeah, still on G. Wait for her to come back, G. Start talking. Good composure, girls. One girl going for the ball on kickoff and one girl going for the pocket, okay? Go, G, Fred! Help her out! Well done. Fair, trip, fair play. Okay, watch the short kickoff. Okay, watch short the short kickoff. kickoff. Still four and three. We've got to watch that little grubber. Four and three. Okay? Four and three. And Psycho's watch now sweeper, kickoff. okay? Emma Sykes now sweeper. You're sweeper. Sweeper. Sweeper? Me. Yeah. Gee, love the aggression. Go Just forward. get a little bit more composed with it, okay? Yeah. I reckon you could have got done from the side. I wasn't latching on. I should be latching. Yeah. Oh, psycho. Yeah, well done. Well done, Emma. Absorb that, absorb that. So far, the performance is steady. First game nerves and an improving opposition have prevented early dominance. Just get them to engage two or three steps to give our winger a little bit more time. Girls, instead of just chain passing, make sure you engage, okay? But the green and gold machine slowly cranks into gear. And in the final 90 seconds, there are glimpses of gold medal form. Same kick off, okay? I want Same. to see bodies on the line here. Same bodies on the line. Bodies on the line. Same kick, bodies on the line. Because, because we're going in that space, I Good want to pocket, and we're going to be first there. Space, space, space! Balls it, Marley up, Marley! Inside shoulder, G Fred! Okay, girls, you know, decent, decent start, okay, but again, too many missed tackles with players coming through the middle, alright? So we've got to get them down, and they're fending, chasing your feet, okay? Once we get them on the floor, we'll get in turnovers. Emma Sykes, first one out here, outstanding. Elliot Green in the mix zone here, yeah. and then we've got Fox over in the recovery. Yeah, okay. Uh, personally, it was good to get a first line out. I think I went to the toilet about eight times before I ran on the field. So very good to get the, ner the butterflies and nerves out and get the first one out of the way. But for the team overall, I think, you know, it was a, you know, not our best performance, but I think everyone was, you know, our first game is usually pretty scrappy, but, you know, hopefully next two will pick up. Quirky 10.50, Charlie 13.50, Cherry just as normal, Ilya 300, Varney 4.50, Sykes 2 litres. So you gotta, where's your fluids now? Okay, keep drinking, okay? Quirky, you're right for fluids?
your girls to flatten them. All right, big low tackles, get to your feet, anchor down, look for those turnovers. All right, you got the ball in hand, you f***ing run through them. Ball in two hands, ball under your arm, fending, okay? Offload will come naturally later, okay? But you guys just f***ing own it. If you're going to run out, you feel like going out, cut back in. If you're not going to go around them, you're going to go f through them. Oh. The try, G! Ilya, look up, Ilya! The try, Charlie! Play, 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 play. It's going to be really disciplined, okay? They're going to slow really it all down. They're so going to try really and slow it listen down. Listen to the referee, half listen a step to the back, riff. be disciplined at the ruck. Listen to the riff. They're going to try and slow it down, be real disciplined. Craig, I want us to go right now. I want us to go right, okay? Go right. Right, right from the kickoff. Right on yep. Amy Lee Crow. Good, um, good contact, good um, ruck decision. That's just speed. Right, guys. right, yeah. right. Craig, can we go right off the kickoff? Go right off the kickoff at Amy Lee. Cheslick sweeping. Well, she Cheslick said to tell you she's sweeping. Yeah. Why? Cheslick said yeah, to why? tell you it's really good though. We don't need to. Mahalia. Elia, next stoppage. Oh, play on, play on, play on. Go, spin it, spin it. Ball in your hand, Mahalia. Actually, Marley, Marley. See, wait a minute. It's a scrum now, Ilya to go. Just oh, wait, yeah. next one. Next one. Should get into red. No, she's on. Have to do it, there. No, no sorry. Okay. Ilya! Let's go, ball in your hand. Let's go down the lane. Ilya! Early chat, Emily! Early chat! Early nice, chat! G. Nice. Grab some fluids. Sorry, G. I actually should have left you on there for that one. Malha, you're doing it, Oh. Great vision. Yeah, she's still got there. And that's the, the fastest girl on the field. Yeah. Tough time. Do you want to um, towel? Yeah, Thanks. Mahalia, towel? Towel? Yeah. Well done, Jerry. Good. Okay, so you girls, centers and wingers, you see? That little TK kick we've been practicing. So if they're up, make them pay. Oh, oh, oh who's that? Ten. Go, Charlie! Just go! Go, go, go! Go in, Marley! Go in, Marley! The Irish team are no easy beats, but the speed and power of the Aussie women proves too much, and they cruise to a big lead. Come on! Just slow it down now, slow it down, OK? Suck it in and slow it down, eh? Which way kick? Which side kick? Hold it, Shani, hold it. Well done. Nice, G! Oh, G. Go, Quirky. Percentages, percentages. Come under, Emma. Oh. Get up, get up. Time. They don't know what to do. Not straight. Thank you. I haven't got any subs left. I f***ed it up with five minutes to go. Oh, sorry, I could have stayed on. I'll run towards Shane. Go, G! Go, G! Great work, girls. Great work. Nice work. Good. Good work. Awesome, girls. Good luck in the next one. Good luck, girls. Good luck in the next one. That was outstanding, okay? Physically dominated them, okay? Nullified their set piece. This is, that was shattered. Their heads are down. They didn't know what to do. All right? Well done. Yeah, I think um, we got off to a, a slowish start, but um, yeah, certainly in that in that second game, that was uh, very physical, and I thought strategically they executed what we went out there to do. So, yeah, it was uh, certainly a highlight of the day that second game. The game proves to be an impressive blend of youth and experience from the home team, with Walsh utilising the rookie schools of Emma Sykes, with the leadership of his co-captains Shiny Williams and Shannon Parry, who are continuing to cement themselves as future legends of the code. I've always been someone to go out there and just give it my all. Not the biggest talker in the world, but when I need to talk, I uh, can get my message across 
Oh, I think for me, I bring um, obviously leadership, um, probably that more nurturing role, having a teaching background and, you know, trying to make this environment a very family oriented place where the girls feel comfortable. Trying to bring everyone together and make it a cohesive, I guess, working machine, to be honest. The way that they just sort of develop themselves to the top, both as, as players on the field and as people off the field. Um, they created this culture um, with, with others and, and with, with the staff, but they epitomised everything that we, were, that we were about. They were self-aware, they were open, uh, they were world-class players and they were selfless. When they became co-captains, um, Shani was the, was the only captain. She got um, injured in the, in the year leading into the Olympics. And in that time, um, Shannon became the captain and with Shani's support and, and blessing. And then at the end of that, um, I had two incredible leaders and players, and both of them um, thought it was very uh, appropriate to, to continue along that path as, as co-captain. They both alpha um, such different dynamics to the role. Um, Shani definitely leads by example, puts her foot, like, front foot forward, um, demonstrates through action, um, and Shannon is more of the communicator and delivers the important messages across and inspires through her words. I guess from day one, I just was really keen to make it work. I wanted the team to work, to mould together, so that's where I was using my nurturing skills and my teacher background to get everyone on the same page. If we're going to have a crack and win a gold medal, it's got to be working from day one. Being an athlete, you're competitive. You thrive to be better. Like, you want to learn something from each day. And I just have that motivation. I don't know how people get it, but I just tick. And I have that motivation to go, all right, I have the best job in the world. It may not last forever. So you've got to give 100%. Off the field, we call them the Bash Brothers because they just work so well together. Like they're, you know, indestructible as two. So that's why I think they work really well. I'm more of the communicator, get the girls rolling, being the energizer bunny, where she's more of like, I'll get it done on the field. You sort that, I'll sort that sort of thing. So she's definitely a leader by actions, whereas I'm more of a leader by my communication. I will do anything for these girls. Um, I will put my body on the line every single day for them and I think that's what you need in a, in a leader is someone that will go out there and you know, do the dirty work and not just think about themselves but think about the team. The underlying thing was it was for the good of the team and both of them always have that at the, uh, at the top of their agenda.